Alrighty, so we uh, struck out uh, at TOWD Fly Fest on Saturday when it was held, but we were able to come back the next day. And uh, after several hours, we were able to catch a nice size uh, trout, about 16 inches in size, we were able to stake it. And um, now that uh, we've done that, we're ready to go and uh, cook it and have some dinner. And what we did was we prepared it by um, seasoning it with um, some of this slap your mama sauce, or uh, seasoning, then and some garlic powder, and then some um, red pepper flakes, because uh, we like uh, our uh, fish spicy and hot, sort of like how uh, we like our women do. Ah, but anyways, uh, also uh, we're going to cook it in olive oil, uh, no special olive oil, just whatever brand was on sale. Okay, so uh, we'll start things up by um, heating up the oil. And we're just going to pan fry it, give it about uh, five to eight minutes on each side, and then we'll be done. Right now we're, we're setting it at a medium heat and just let it warm up here. We'll be uh, starting here shortly. All right, and of course, uh, while we're letting things heat up, we'll kind of uh, uh, lube up the cook with a slight uh, buttery nipple. And this is the uh, one with 99 proof in it. In this case, Amarella um, cream, I guess. Uh, sort of like an Irish cream, but made from South Africa. Uh, it tastes really good. And, um, Definitely goes well with dinner. Okay, and what we'll have with the fish is um, some seasoned green beans. We're going to just microwave it since uh, we want to do this for dinner because we're kind of getting hungry. Kind of uh, had a late start uh, in the day or coming back uh, from work. Actually gotten sidetracked because we ended up going fishing. I think we posted a quick update video. This was March 12th, 2018 quick update where we ended up uh, getting a bass on that real trout max. Um, but we'll have some seasoned green beans, microwaved, and then... Uh, some Zanarin's rice pilaf that we've already cooked separately and we're just letting it sit here in the oven to uh, stay warm. All right, still heating up. Actually, olive oil, about maybe uh, just a little bit uh, uh, covering the bottom in this wok. We like using the wok mainly because when it splatters, it just stays in the wok area. And bottom line, uh, if we were uh, straight bachelors um, with no uh, immediate significant other, um, I think we'd have uh, basically two key pots and pans. Uh, one would be this style wok and pretty much do everything in it. Cook it, boil, etc. Fry. Uh, and additionally the next thing we would probably have or will have is or actually do have is the cast iron um, skillet where we like to do blackened uh, fish as well as uh, different um, other meats and whatnot. So yeah it would definitely be what uh, we would use. So, And here again is the trout prepared, and there are the different seasonings we used. And we're truly having this seasoning here. Cool stuff. But, uh, it's still heating up, but we're going to test it real quick by throwing some seasoning in there, and let's see it fry up. Hopefully, it's starting to sizzle a little bit, uh, but it's not quite ready yet. So let's go ahead and let it heat up a little bit more. Okay, uh, it's starting to smoke a little, so we may have uh, made it too hot, so we have to lower the uh, heat. Um, but we'll go ahead and put in the fish. In about eight minutes, we're just going to flip it over and uh, cook it for another five to eight minutes on the other side. That's what we're looking for right there is this nice browning color. All right, as we mentioned earlier, that's that little browning, crusty color, sort of like a little blackening. We're going to let it go for about five minutes this time, and then we'll finish up with the uh, last two steaks, and we'll be done and ready to eat here shortly. Okay, so uh, you want to have something to dip the uh, fish in, so what we'll do is, is we'll take a little uh, soy sauce and lemon, and we like the cucumin soy sauce, uh, it just tastes better to, uh, to us, and we'll put some lemon, and we'll just squeeze basically uh, half a, a deal of lemon, half a lemon, right here into a little bowl, a couple of tablespoons of the soy sauce, and you can also use lime also, it's up to you, and we'll do two tablespoons of soy sauce. And that's it. So that's how we make that uh, uh, dipping sauce. But uh, we can also cheat it a little bit and get this Toyo Mansi, which is a, uh, uh, a soy sauce mixed with, uh, uh, it's called Kalamansi. Um, that's a Filipino lemon, uh, kind of orange, citrusy flavor, as well as lime flavor to it. And so uh, 
you can just go ahead and get this at the Oriental store and you'll be able to pick that up. Or you can make the lemon uh, and soy sauce mix as well. It's up to you. Um, we'll like them either way. Okay, uh, five minutes is up. We're just transferred over to the uh, a plate with a paper uh, towel on it so it'll soak up some of the oil. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do the other one. We've transferred over to the uh, plate. We're just going to put it in the uh, oven for now. Just to stay warm. And we'll go ahead and put the uh, remaining two uh, and get these cooked up and then we'll hit off the uh, green beans and get those warmed up and uh, we'll be almost, uh, oh, we'll be ready to eat. Alright, we've uh, got the uh, last two steaks in there. This time we're going to go five and five just to make an adjustment in how we're cooking it. We just got a little timer here to tell us uh, when five minutes are up and we'll flip it over and let it go for another five minutes. Uh, that last set that we cooked right here, that um, went uh, eight minutes on one side then five minutes on the other. And there's our rice pilaf. And we got our green beans up here in the microwave. <clears throat> you know, there's like a chef cooking here, or a, a gourmet chef cooking in a can. Fun stuff. All right, and uh, going back to the uh, dipping sauce, we just go ahead and put it in the uh, refrigerator here and let it uh, chill just a little bit and uh, be ready just in time over here for our fish when it's cooked. Okay, and then uh, uh, what we're having as a uh, cocktail is the uh, 99 proof butterscotch. Um, butterscotch, I don't know, uh, liqueur, and the uh, Amarula, which is a uh, another liqueur from South Africa. And what we're doing is mixing the two and having what's called a buttery nipple, but uh, more like a fortified one. I think the other one uses a uh, less uh, less proof liquor uh, than what we use, but bottom line, it works really well and um, makes for a good cocktail before dinner. All right, uh, these two are done. I gave it about, uh, about five minutes, and we're just going to move it over here to the uh, other ones, and we'll have uh, dinner shortly. All right, there's the trout. We got some rice pilaf. We'll have some green beans, and then there's our dipping sauce made with uh, soy sauce and lemon. But of course, you can always go with that Toya Munsi. All right, uh, dinner's served. We've got uh, our food on a plate. We've got our dipping sauce, and bottom line, bon appetite. Alright, so next time we'll catch you later and good luck and good fishing.